To secure with a scaffold knot, wind the working end around the standing part once. Then cross over here and make another round turn on the side towards the eye. Lead the working end past this part and tuck it out through the knot, away from the eye and parallel to the standing part. This results in a loop that tightens. The scaffold knot is ideal for shackles and carabiners as it fixes them rigidly on the rope. That way they can be handled better and faster. However, the scaffold knot is often difficult to untie after great strain. The best way, if possible, is to work the shackle out here and simply pull this loop through. Two ropes can be joined in a very secure manner using scaffold knots. This connection is also called a double fisherman's bend. First I make a scaffold knot with this end around the other rope. And then with the other end. If I've made the turns away from me with the first scaffold knot, then I make them in the opposite direction with the second scaffold knot. That way the two knots connect more evenly. The rolling edge can be used to adjust the length of rope. Make a half edge around the standing part Cross over here and go through the eye again. Finally make a half hitch around the standing part outside the eye in the same direction of rotation. Tighten the knot well. The rolling edge jams with strain and can't slip in this direction. If there is no load on the rope, it can be shifted in both directions. To fasten onto another rope that will be pulled in this direction, go around the rope with the working end coming to rest on the same side to which we want to pull. Cross over here, but stay on the same side of the standing part. Go around again in the same direction of rotation. But now to the other side of the standing part. And make a half hitch. Tighten the knot well. Now we can pull in this direction without the rolling hitch slipping. 